This is He Knows Everything, bringing you that heat and that fire. We keeping a foot on the what? On the knicks. We keeping a foot on the what? On the knicks. Let's talk about it, man. Listen, man. There's five prerequisites of being an alpha male. A true alpha male requires five prerequisites. If you don't have these five, five prerequisites, I'm sorry to tell you, you're going to have to go back to the fucking drawing board. This right here is going to be the most cold-hearted, unadulterated, cutthroat, two telefashion, visceral form of what true alpha male is all about. First and foremost, confidence. If you don't have confidence as a man, you can't start up or put lighter fluid to create fire up under the flames and smoke of wood to create purpose. The second is purpose. Purpose is what governs everything. Purpose is when you have that, you're able to go on your day-to-day -day affairs governing yourself as a true alpha male. The third thing, you need to have your health. If you don't have your health, then you don't have wealth. Health is every fucking thing. Your fourth thing, you need wealth. Basically, you don't need to be rich, but you need to budget your money so that when you find yourself in precarious situations, you're not sitting here scratching your fucking ass and that you have finances to be able to take care of yourself. What do I mean? I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to expand on this further. And the fifth thing, discipline. Every day you got to walk this shit out. Now let's get right into it so that I can explain all five of these prerequisites. The first one, confidence. Confidence is as simple as knowing that you're sure of yourself. Knowing that you are sure of the man that you are in front of you. Knowing that you go by your own fucking drum and can't nobody tell you shit. Can't nobody come after you. Can't nobody basically decide how you move and how you unction yourself. You move and unction by your drum, by your beat, by your roll, by everything that you fucking do. Because your confidence exudes that. Your confidence eludes that. Your confidence showcases that. Your confidence explains that. Your confidence gets you to that conclusive state, that finality and that totality of it. Your confidence... Is every fucking thing because your confidence is the driving force. Without being confident and stuff, how can you get after the women you want? Without being confident, how can you go out there and get shit done, take care of stuff? How can you be a go-getter? How can you be a hustler? Confidence gets you that. Confidence pushes these things. The second thing, after fucking confidence, and it's very fucking important to have this, you need to have purpose. Purpose gets you to figure out from a day-to-day -day perspective how to govern your fucking affairs. If you don't have purpose, how can you be a day-to-day -day person and how you unction yourself? How can you be a true alpha male? Purpose gives you this storm. It gives you a perfect storm to where you're not wishy-washy. You're not all over the place trying to figure out who you are as a fucking man. The worst thing for a man is to figure out who the fuck he is each and every single day. With purpose, you know who you are. And you're doing everything each and every single day to self-improve on who you actually are. This is what purpose gives you. This is why when a man is purposeless and a man doesn't have purpose, he's scattered. He gets done the fuck up by women. He's basically pushed abroad. He becomes a double-minded man. And you know what the good book of James in the Bible tells us? That a double-minded man is, all, is unstable in all of thy ways. This is what purposeless is all about. This is what not having purpose does. It makes you double-minded. It makes you wishy-washy. It makes you 50-50. It makes you a beta male or an omega male. Beta and omega males have no fucking purpose. Now let's keep on going. Health. Now this is going to strike a chord in a lot of motherfuckers. If you let your waistline go, you're not a true fucking alpha. A true alpha governs his fucking affairs from a health standpoint, he disciplines himself. He disciplines his palate. He disciplines his mouth. If you can't discipline your mouth and you've been glutton with your mouth and you've been indulging overly, then you're not a true fucking alpha. A true alpha knows that his health is his wealth. Without your health, how can you get up every day to do everything? How can you get up to have confidence? How can you get up to have fucking purpose? 
Do you know, want to know what the most debilitating thing for a male? Forget true alpha male. Let's talk about male even at its primitive level. When a man has let his waistline go, when a man is not in his optimum shape, he don't have no fucking libido, so he can't fuck worth shit. And these women are walking around wondering why these men nowadays are five minute men, are two minute men, are men that basically can't get their shit up. They can't get going. These men are fucking men that they're just basically useless when it comes to sexual activities. You want to know why? Because these men have allowed themselves to engage and indulge, overly fucking indulge in processed foods. They're not eating the right kinds of foods. They're not basically governing their palate and governing their mouths based on what works for their DNA, their anatomy, their physiology. If you have let your waistline go, I'm sorry to tell you this, you're struggling as a true alpha. If you sat here and been not disciplined with your health, how can you call yourself a true alpha if you're not alpha with your body? Your body is your fucking temple. If your body's not all the way together, that means your faculties are not all together. Your mental capacity is lacking. It's not at maximum proficiency for you to be able to think clearly and effectively. You can't fuck worth shit. I'm 40 years old and I feel like fucking 20. Right now, I can take my shirt off and go to the fucking beach. This is how you determine true alpha, man. A true alpha male should be able to be able to do even the most animalistic, carnalistic thing. All men want to be able to go to the beach and take their fucking shirt off. It's a swagger thing. It's a confidence thing. It's a thing of letting everyone know that you've put in the fucking work. Nobody's telling you you need to be like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Nobody's telling you you need to be to that level. But you need to be physically fucking fit. Because when you're physically fit, the pheromones that you're sending to the opposite sex is you are fucking disciplined. Which is number five. You see how it goes hand in hand with health? You're sending to the opposite sex that you care about yourself. You're sending to the opposite sex that you govern your fucking affairs appropriately. Your health is everything. A lot of men are dying because of the fact that they've let themselves go. They're having heart attacks, diabetes. They're having all of these debilitating health issues. They're developing cancers and all of this because of them living sedentary lifestyles. Govern your fucking affairs. Your health needs to be prioritized. You need to be physically fucking fit. So if this offends you, and you're feeling some type of way about it, that means get your ass in the fucking gym. Control your alcohol. Control the shit that's coming down your fucking throat. If you've been overindulging in alcohol and you know it's a problem, you need to take the alcohol bottles and empty them out in the fucking sink. Throw them bitches out. Throw out any fucking food that's keeping you fat and go to the store and start eating fucking healthy. We all have a thing called Google. Start fucking Googling. The reason why I'm staying on health is because if you don't have your health, how can you even be able to get up to do the things that you're supposed to do? God is giving you purpose. He's giving you confidence. He's giving you an abundance mindset. But all of these things can't happen if you don't even have the very health to be able to unction these things. Now let's talk about wealth. You got a budget. You got to be able to have savings when there's famine because there are going to be moments. We've seen it before in the Western civilization of the United States where there's been moments where we've hit droughts. There's been moments where the economy is shit. It's not at a surplus. It's at a deficit. You could have either lost your job. You got to go out there and figure out how to make other means of income. This is where purpose comes in line with your wealth. You don't need to be fucking rich, but you need to have money in the fucking bank account. Equivalent. If I'm being honest with you, you need to have at least 12 months of savings. So if any fucking thing happens, you can go a year knowing that you can govern your fucking affairs. 
six months is minimum, but 12 months if you are true fucking alpha. For true alphas, I'm not talking about betas and omegas. I'm talking true alpha. You need to have 12 months of savings because any fucking thing can happen. You got to discipline your finances. You got to discipline how much money you make. You got to discipline how this shit is going to be able to be put in its stratosphere. You got to discipline this shit. If you don't fucking discipline this shit, how can you govern your fucking affairs? So budgeting is every fucking thing. Budget your fucking money. Without budget, how can you call yourself a fucking true alpha? You got to be able to be disciplined with your fucking money. Without discipline of money, how can you sit here and move yourself, unction yourself? And how can you be able to do different transactions? How can you be able to take care of yourself? Budgeting is every fucking thing. Budget your fucking money. This means don't go out there and spend money on women if you got bills to fucking pay. Don't go out there and go fucking party if you know you got priorities to take care of. These things should come fucking first. If you are married, you should be taking care of your wife and fucking kids. They should come first financially before you go and trick your fun, fucking money off. There's a lot of guys that go to these casino halls, gamble their fucking money away, and they're coming to their wives and kids. Oh, I've spent all the money away. That's the most beta and omega shit you can fucking do. And you wonder why your woman don't fucking respect you. Wealth is all about governing your affairs and disciplining. It goes hand in hand with that. And the last one, discipline. Discipline is the discipline is the backbone of every fucking thing. This is when you wake up every day and you walk this shit out. You carry your cross and you basically say, you know what? I am a true alpha. And not by namesake, by action. Discipline is the action of the being a true alpha. This is when you wake up every day. I have fucking sciatica right now, man. An old military injury. I was hurting like a motherfucker these last few days when that shit kick in. That shit kick in as I'm getting older, it kicks in even worse. Did that stop me from hitting the fucking gym? I hit that shit just as hard as I will fucking hit it even if I don't have it. But I told myself. This is why I'm going to test if I have proper fucking form. And you know what? I didn't injure anything. That means I have proper fucking form in the gym. But I was extra attentive of that. I was extra cautious of that in hitting proper form. And I took a little bit more time. If I was hitting sets, you know, in a quick burst situation, I wasn't doing that. Because I was mindful of what I had. But I went to the fucking gym and still put in the work. Because as a true alpha, no fucking excuses get the job done this is what discipline is all about if there's a choir out there i'm preaching and teaching to them these are the five principles that you have to follow if you've been slacking in any one of these principles and you know it you know who the fuck i'm talking about if you are a person that's listening to this fucking video and it's touching you in any one of these categories guess what you haven't been lifting up to the true alpha male tag. To call yourself a true alpha male, you got to be able to govern all of these five principal affairs. Let me say it again. You got to be able to govern all of these principal five affairs and you got to be able to do it authentically and consistently. Let me say it again. Authentically and consistently. This is what separates you from the pack. This is how you go by your own fucking drum. This is how you have delineation, the distinction, golf, and separation. This is how you could sit here and look at motherfuckers and say, you know what? I'm a true alpha. Not because you're saying it, but because people can see it. That aura is there. That presence is there. But those factors are continuously followed. Because to be a true alpha is to understand that every day you have to self-improve. Every day you got to be better than you were the day before. You got to walk this thing out. You got to sit here and tell yourself, are you going to make mistakes? Fuck yeah. A true alpha makes mistakes. A true alpha is not fucking perfect. 
But how do you bounce back? How do you weather the fucking storm when you make these mistakes? What type of man you are? Are you going to sit there and cry? Or are you going to be action based? Women don't want no fucking naggers. They want motherfuckers that are problem, conflict, resolution, solvers. Let me say it again. Problem and conflict, resolution, solvers. This is the God-given purpose that a man was given when God told a man from the beginning, and I.e. Adam, be fruitful and multiply. This was the Alpha Credence. God himself is called Alpha and Omega. He's the Alpha of Alphas. So if you want to be a true Alpha, you got to understand the credence that's been given unto you. And what you're going to do to step up, show up, show out, deliver, and make sure that all five of these governances are followed to its T. This is what's going to allow you to be that superior man. This is what's going to allow you to be that concrete man. This is what's going to allow you to be that person that anywhere you step in, people can feel your presence. They can know that you dare. People can know that you're disciplined just by looking at you. You look the fucking part. You in physical shape. People are like, okay, discipline checked off. You got your finances together. You can go anywhere and know that you can spend your money and don't have to worry about anything. Check off. You got your priorities in order and you know that your purpose comes first and then everything else check off. You got the confidence to know that you go by your own drum and you don't go by what anybody else does. Check off. And you got the discipline to carry these motherfuckers out each and every single day. Check off. If you're lacking in one of these departments, this is 2022. This is not a video to chastise you. This is not a video to correct you. This is not a video to rebuke you. It's a video more so to exhort you and to encourage you and to gird your fucking loins up. That guess what? If you fell off the wagon, get your rabbit ass back up and do what the fuck you gotta do. That's the cohorted. That's the unadulterated. That's the cutthroat truth teller fashion. Men. Men that call themselves true alpha males. I'm challenging you. This is 2022. If you're not all the way together physically fit, you don't gotta have no fucking six pack, but you better have at minimum a washboard fucking stomach. Get your fucking affairs in order. If you know you've been eating any kind of fucking way, get your nutrition in order. If you know that you, has been, you ain't been sleeping, get your sleep game in order. Because sleep is every fucking thing. And if you're not sleeping right, and you're not getting your fucking sleep in, that's a health problem. If you know that you haven't been budgeting and you've just been splurging your money and self-indulging and being gluttonous and going and engaging in gluttony, get your affairs in order. If you know that you ain't been disciplined walking this thing out each and every single day, get your affairs in order. If you know that you haven't been sitting here and having the confidence and you've been lacking, you've been timid where it was approaching a woman, you've been timid whether it was approaching basically deadlines, you've been timid and not and lacking confidence when it comes to what you want to do in your life, get your fucking affairs in order. And you know if you've been lacking purpose, if you've been purposeless, if you've just been walking your life around, just going with the fucking flow and being wishy-washy, get your fucking affairs in order. This is the time. Let me tell you something. Each and every single day, a man has to face the fact that he's one day closer to death. And if you're wasting time and you're wasting energy, which are your two most valuable resources... What the fuck are you doing? Do you want to be the mediocre motherfucker that's basically living a dormant version of himself? Or do you want to be the superior motherfucker that's challenging himself each and every single day to strive for perfection? Let me tell you something. Are you going to fail? Of course you're going to fucking fail. You're going to fail many times over. But all you need is to be successful one fucking time. Let me say it again. All you need is to be successful one fucking time. So I'm challenging you, you men. You want to be a true alpha male, 
watch this video again, 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 and again, and let this message basically hit your corpus callosum, hit your cerebellum, hit your medulla obligata. And once it hits, take fucking action. Because the year of 2022, men, is the year of 20, is the year of fucking action. It's an action based year. This is a year where we get our manhood back. We stop acting like betas. We stop acting like omegas. And we go out there and we say we are true alphas. Extraordinaires. Governed by true alpha economics. Ari keeps the foot on the what? On the eggs. Ari keeps the foot on the what? On the eggs. Mike fucking drop. This is He Knows Everything. Checking out.